No, stop! What? I'm Seth from 2017. If you make that intro, I die. How'd you get here? Uh, that's not important. Whoa, hold up there, buddy. What the? 2019, Seth? What are you doing here? I'm here to tell 2018, Seth, to make this intro. How the heck did you guys get here? Please delete the 2018 intro, Seth. Or I'm a goner. This intro is important for the personal development of 2018, Seth. It can't be destroyed. Kim Jong-un may have a big button. And Donald Trump may have a bigger button. But we have the biggest button of them all. That was easy. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Mary Miller. And I'm Ethan Brubaker. Today is Thursday, January 4th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Are you ready for a challenge? Can your team build the tallest tower using only spaghetti and masking tape, strong enough to hold a marshmallow on top? Here's your chance. Join us after school this Thursday, January 4th. That's today. Each team of three will be given 20 minutes to complete the challenge. Members of the team with the tallest tower get coupons redeemable for McCafe drinks. Now over to Edwin with the news. What's up, Ephrata? It's your favorite uh, newsboy, Eddie C. We'll be back at it again in 2018. We're about to slam dunk this news cycle right on out of the park, so let's go. Former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon has been in the news again recently. Bannon has reportedly stated to agents of the press that the meeting between Donald Trump's son and a Russian lawyer during the 2016 election cycle was treasonous. While the Mueller investigation is moving forward with all due haste, Trump is finding himself lacking support from his closest allies. Pro-reform protests in Iran have been met with hard reactions, not only by the government it's itself, but by pro-government factions of the citizenry. The increasing of civil tensions in the nation has now left over two dozen people dead, with a possibility for increase. The worsening of the internal situation of Iran has some foreign allies on edge, namely the Houthi rebels in Yemen, Hezbollah in Lebanon and Syria, and the Palestinian Authority in Israel-Palestine, all of which rely heavily on Iran for support. It is unknown if the conflicts will increase into anything as serious as a civil war, but it is known that the world's eyes are watching the old Persian Empire. On this day in history, Euro Europe became united for the first time since the 9th century by a common currency. The euro, debuting in 1999, closed at the equivalent of 1.17 US dollars at its first day. Eurocash was introduced three years later, decorated with architectural symbols and other noteworthy European designs. Today, the euro is equal to 1.21 US dollars. That's for you, Mr. Hagen. Now over to the main desk with lunch. <laughs> hey, uh, we have a hot dog on a roll. Sweet, sweet southern turkey barbecue on a whole grain roll. Four meat or four cheese pizza. Turkey club on toast. Uh, crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Sauerkraut. Baked bean. Coleslaw. Tossed salad. Fresh bo broccoli <laughs> or a cucumber's dip. Applesauce, fresh fruit, or... That slushy. slushy. Now over to Tony with sports. Ride with the mob, hum do Allah, check in with me, and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Bola did the chain, turn on for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. <laughs> yeah, Magini chain, rest in peace. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. You see big homie get a fumble. In sports results, bowling was home versus Lebanon. Girls basketball was away at E-Town and wrestling was home versus Mannheim Central. Boys lacrosse open turf workout schedule is canceled for tonight. Attention all girls interested in playing softball. We will have open gyms on Tuesdays and Thursdays mornings starting on Tuesday, January 9th from 6.30 to 7.10 in the morning. Pitchers and catchers will also have open gym time on Tuesday and Thursday right after school in the gym. 
please see Miss Coach Dumbach if you have any questions. Attention all students interested in being part of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, called FCA for short. FCA will start having huddles, Bible studies on Wednesday mornings at 7 o'clock in room 227. Please see Miss Dumbach if you have any questions. We hope to see you there. Today, swimming is home versus Manham Central, and rifle is home versus E-Town. Now back to Ethan with the main desk. Registration forms for the 2018 EAS Decoding Contest are available now in the high school main office. The third annual EAS Decoding Contest will be held in the high school cafeteria in March. This year, it's a team registration process. Sign up with your teammates on the same registration form. You must participate in teams of two or three. There are no individual entries. The, the, the deadline to register for the EAS Decoding Contest is Friday, January 26th. See your math teacher or contact Mrs. Hooper for additional details. That's it for us, Ephrata. Bye. Have a OB-tastic day. I don't come, get it, but I bet it's team. funny. Come watch the swim team win. We got it. Good.